Moving by Christmas. Oh, we had a good laugh about that one. <sighs> Hello, I am Andy, and I am the Brit in Hungary, still without a house. After amazing progress towards the end of last year, where we, we honestly thought we were like five or six weeks away from moving in, um, things just ground to a halt. Um, there were contractual problems with the gas board, the electricity board, which have held things up for probably about eight or nine weeks. So not an awful lot has happened. Um, very frustrating. Uh, there's lots of stuff happening the next few weeks, uh, including uh, the gas problems finally being sorted, the electricity problems being sorted, the water will be on. The problem is that the decorators, the tilers, and all the, the guys who work inside the house, they can't work if it's cold. It's been about minus 15 here the last few weeks, and obviously the guys can't work. Um, the next couple of weeks the heating is going to be connected and then once the house is warm the electrician and everybody can crack on and finish it uh, so the big thing that's holding everything up is the gas and the electricity but once they're on no seriously uh, you know we're, we're nearly there we're nearly there um, anyway I'll um, whiz you down there now um, and I'll give you the guided tour Ooh, look, we've got a path. Yes. And, ooh, and a bit of a garden. Hey. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah, they've been very busy. They've put all the electricity and sewage pipes and stuff in this week, so. Still no garage door, though. Bloody hell. It's that stuff from Mexico. Riba, Riba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not been down it for what a week or two, have we? Really? But all the plastering is done. Very nice, and we've got the blinds. Look. Yeah, yeah and somebody's tied it up. Ooh, look. Very good, very nice. And up the stairs. I'm inside. I'm inside. First bit of furniture, woo! Yes, so, the colorblind electrician. Hmm, yeah, good. Ninth of December, uh, not a lot to report really, nothing happening sort of inside. The plaster is all done, and it's all sort of nice and smooth. Um, the sort of the big the big push now seems to be getting all their services all connected. I don't know what's that? Water, gas? Who knows? Yeah, they're getting all the, the insulation and and plastering and stuff done outside as well. So things is happening. Slowly. We have got a garage door. Yeah, so as far as we know, electricity's on. The sewers are in. The mains water is on. Next door has got its windows, and they're just ready for the plaster or render, whatever it's called.
January. First bit of render on the outside. Woo! And number three! And here is the key! Da -da -da -da. Okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Tantalizingly close. All the wires, all the wiring is in. There is still no juice from the main. Tantalizingly close. Similarly here, look. Gas, lovely copper gas pipe. And in the trench, um, there's water and sewage. We is ready to go. But unfortunately, because of legal stuff, we can't. So annoying. And we got massively excited. I know in my last video, I was getting excited about the tiling and I was saying that the bathroom would be the first room to be finished. Well, kind of. So look, here is our lovely bathroom. And it looks exactly like on the CGI thing that we did. With lovely floor. Look, and there's the lovely shiny gas pipe. Going to our lovely boiler. To our lovely underfloor heating. But sadly, there's no gas. And there's no electricity to, to fire it up. Yet. Yet. Um, yeah. And once, yeah, once that roars into life, then we'll have all the trades in here getting the whole thing finished. Massive and I mean massive cock up in the bathroom. Um, because of the property boundary, the, the, the wall on one side of the house doesn't run at 90 degrees, it just follows the, the, the line of the property next door. And it's, I don't know, it's about 15, 20 degrees out. And we've, we've got a bath, um, obviously, a 90 degree bath, and we wanted it to, wanted it to fit in the corner. Um, and obviously it won't fit in the corner if there isn't a corner. And we specifically asked the builders, the plasterers, the tilers to, even if it meant sacrificing a little bit of space, to make the corner square. And guess what? They forgot. And this is the result. Look, lovely corner. Uh, uh, oh. Oh dear. Shit. Yeah, so anyway, what they've got to do is undo everything they've done on that wall. Uh, fortunately, it shouldn't slow things down very much because there's lots of other stuff to do. Um, but what it will mean is that the bathroom will be, oh, I don't know, about, by the time they've squared the corner off, it will be about 10 centimetres shorter here. But I'm sure we can live with it. Again today. Beautiful colours. Oh look it's lovely. And it's lovely and warm as well. They've got the heating on to dry the paint a bit. Oh, it's lovely and warm up here. It's like a sauna. Bloody lovely. Oh, I don't know what that means, but it's good. Our bedroom. Yeah, this is going to be finished in a couple of days, and then next week I can get in here and put the floor down, and then I can start building the furniture. The 
is the rest of the complex. Yeah, so you can see ours is considerably further ahead. Greetings, 15th of April. It's been a momentous week, uh, and it's still only Thursday. Um, massive, massive progress on the house this week. Um, main progress has been in here. Yeah, I've spent the last couple of days in here, sort of doing the floor and building all the furniture. So this room's next. Um, get rid of all the rubbish in a bit. Um, floor, no actually yeah, finished painting and floor this weekend. This one will be finished. Bathrooms coming on very slowly. Um, toilet almost attached. Bath ready to go. Um, the boiler, my god, the boiler was set at 40 Celsius and it was just so hot. I was told to keep it hot to let the, fuel, the, the floor dry out and the walls dry out and everything, but it's just too damn hot to work. So I've turned it down to minimum to 25 and it's still bloody hot in here. And stairs, painting all finished. Uh, floor, oh blimey, hopefully, I don't know, early next week and Kitchen, living room. So that's it. It's been an epic week. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can myself, but you know, I'm, there's, there's a limit. I've got, you know, I'm doing this and I've got my other job as well. Um, so it's exhausting. Anyway, stay tuned. Another, another good day's grafting. Got the, the floor done in the other room. Um, got the wallpaper on. And I'm just currently putting the furniture together. Although to be honest, it's like half past four on Sunday and I'm sort of losing the will to live. So I might just um, stick the doors on and go home, I think. Yeah, but overall, yeah, very pleased. Very pleased. And a little bit of luxury for the ladies today. I've actually put the toilet seat on. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, so downstairs, yeah, all good too. Floor's finished. Um, we've got most of the kitchen furniture out of the garage, which means I can, we can get the garage painted and we can clear all the rubbish out of there. Um, uh, Jolte the carpenter is coming tomorrow, Monday, to fit the kitchen. Uh, he reckons he can do it in a day. Uh, living room, um, yeah, of course, that was lovely. Uh, lying on the on the on the sofa having a beer last night. That was really really satisfying. Uh, bought a, a new lamp today. Um, yeah, furniture for the sort of TV and shelves and stuff. Well, basically, it's been an absolutely mental week. But really really satisfying. We cleared all the backlog of jobs that are holding everything up. Um, so, yeah. Um, just another crazy week this week, hopefully. Like I say, the, the kitchen's going in. The bathroom should all be finished. Um, we, we've even started buying things like curtains and stuff.
in. Oh, okay. Yes, we are in. We've been there for a couple of days now. Um, oh, the saga is over. Well, it's not actually. Um, there's still lots of little stuff to finish, uh, but the place is livable, uh, and that's great, and we've moved in. Um, the front and back garden is going to be the next big saga, um, and that'll probably be the part four of the video, whipping the garden into shape. Uh, and there's also lots of legal stuff. Um, that we want to sort out with the builder. There's lots of stuff we're not happy with and stuff we've been charged for and remedial work we've had to do. Uh, and also the, the question of compensation. Um, we actually had a clause in the contract that we'd be compensated for every week that the house was late. Uh, and we've brought this up with the constructor and they said, oh sorry, COVID, nothing we could do about that, which is cobbless. Uh, so that'll be in the hands of solicitors probably. And there's the, the new challenge. Um, of the electricity pole in the garden, which we were told wouldn't be there, and we've now been told it will be there. And if you think I'm going to have a massive great electricity pole in the middle of my sunbathing terrace, you are very much effing mistaken. Um, so that's the next little battle. But for the moment, we're just enjoying being in the new place. Um, so, yeah, let's go. I'll give you the guided tour. Yeah, so you've got to use your imagination a little bit. Um, um, yeah. And all the neighbours' houses, they're sort of nowhere near finished yet. We saw lights on in the one at the end, actually. Um, so there's somebody, somebody might be there. We might actually have some neighbours. Yeah, so this is the next battle. We've got this bloody great thing. It's got to go. The lying bastards told us the cable was going to be buried. Uh, and now I've been told that this is going to stay in our garden and I don't bloody think so. Mm -hmm. 